These are Sungate sunglasses. You can get them on Amazon for about $15 to $17, depending on the model that you get. I got them on a lightning sale, and I got the polarized ones. Probably, I think it was like $14. I am prone to losing sunglasses and breaking sunglasses, so these are the perfect price for me. My favorite part of these is that they fit on my tiny head. I have a, sm I have a tiny, tiny head. They don't fall off when I look down. They didn't even move. The arms are so strong. They don't flop around. Anyway, I just really like these sunglasses, so I decided to make a video for them. So what I wanna talk about with this video is restraint. I start with this giant timeline and I just narrow it down as much as I can. And I'm learning quickly that you can cut a lot closer than you think. We're getting used to those really quick cuts. So not only are you cutting out dead air and making it sound a little better, you're also making your video shorter. I know from working in the learning industry that the shorter things are, the more likely people are to watch it. People's attention spans are getting shorter and shorter. You ever notice that when you have a 30 second ad on Hulu or whatever, you're probably picking up your phone? I know I am. And that's just 30 seconds and there's still something to watch. You might not realize it, but subconsciously you might not love your videos because you've got those little tiny pockets of dead air. So be brave, make that cut, shorten it down. I probably did three or four rounds of edits on that video. So, you know, I took the big the big timeline, I narrowed it down. I went back through and edited each clip again, and I probably added some music. After adding the music, I went back and edited it again. I actually exported it, and then went back and edited it again. Edited it. Edited it. I edited it. I edited it. I made some more edits. Got there. It's important to note that you can also do too much. So. Don't spend too much time trying to cut things down and recognize when your video is good enough. You know, it depends on whether you're working on it for yourself or for a client. Um, for me, you know, I was working on it just for this YouTube channel, just to kind of get better at it. So for me, this one's good enough. I had probably hit good enough on the first export, but oops. So I totally forgot that the whole reason I wanted to talk about restraint was because I had all of these clips that I wanted to add, but I knew that they weren't appropriate for this specific video. Um, so I wanted to add this one. And this one. And this one. I ended up cutting them because they didn't feel right. You know, I, I realized that they weren't appropriate for this video. So please like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you next time.